All right, what is going on everyone? Today is Wednesday, June 27th, 2018. So I wanted to talk about another cryptocurrency that the Litecoin community potentially could be really excited about. Uh, and it's a coin that I've been invested in, uh, I think maybe a little before Charlie originally had that tweet. So the first time I heard about it, of course, was from Nicholas Merton back in maybe like November or December of 2017. So this is something Charlie tweeted about, about three or four months ago at the end of February. I took a look at nano currency recently, pretty neat. Every account has its own blockchain. It focuses on fast and free transactions for payments, it uses proof of stake for double spend protection and proof of work to fight spam. The challenge is to keep it decentralized. Discla disclaimer, I own some nano. So Charlie has said before that he does own other cryptocurrencies. I think he even had a tweet maybe a few days ago because uh, somebody was saying about how Charlie didn't didn't um, lose any money because of this downturn in the market and I, I'll try and find that tweet real quick uh, Yeah, this is the tweet three days ago on June 24th Somebody had said to him the market is giving you a beating. That's a load of BS. You sold all your Litecoin So the person was essentially saying like you're not suffering because you sold at all-time highs But Charlie responded don't presume to know how much I have in crypto I also warn people that if they can't stand a 90% drop in their coin value don't invest and Charlie did say, I've lost more money in this bear market than 99.999% of my followers. So essentially what that means is he has other investments in cryptocurrency. And one of those cryptocurrencies is Nano. And so his tweet there that said about decentral decentralization being a problem. So if we go into cryptocurrency Reddit, the very top two posts are Nano ranked the fastest payment system among all cryptos on Binance. And the second post is that Nano is now truly decentralized, question mark. And so again... Usually the top comments probably have some pretty good information. Uh, and this individual said, something to keep in mind is that the decentralization process is essentially a logarithmic scale. You are centralized until you aren't, and then you can continue to become increasingly more decentralized until it becomes essentially impossible for collusion to affect consensus, at which point it is simply the community making a shared decision. It's fair to say that Nano's decentralization is underway, but the risk of minority collusion controlling the network is still too high to call it truly decentralized. However, uh, it's it's on its way. So I think it's uh, definitely worth considering or just even watching out for Nano in the future. It seems like they're making good steps towards doing what they need to do to stick around um, in this cryptocurrency market. So good news, either way, keep it up, Nano. And and so that was by Edgegasm. And then Gaobi said, great points. Decentralization is a dynamic spectrum based on nodes, owners, and usage. To say anything is de facto decentralized is silly and wrong unless all users run a personal node. This is an indication of a positive trend for Nano, a relative improvement compared to some cryptocurrencies and a relative downgrade compared to others. And somebody also made a point here, Podcasts and Pot is their username. Nano is already far more decentralized than Bitcoin. 90% of global Bitcoin mining is controlled by one or two mining conglomerates. Just in terms of one of the things that Charlie even himself pointed out a few months ago uh, to make Nano a more legitimate and potentially a, a one of the cryptocurrencies that survives uh, is decentralization because they already have speed. So if we just want to jump over to the first post then, Nano ranked the fastest payment system among all cryptocurrencies on Binance. And again, just having speed isn't enough to be like a secure, reliable cryptocurrency such as Litecoin. I think Litecoin has a ton of things going for it. But in terms of pure speed, Nano, of course, is is pretty fast. And again, Nano used to be XRB. It, was, it used to be Ryblox, and it was rebranded to Nano. And so this is just kind of like a little chart here. We have Nano, XLM, Ripple, Gas, Neo, IOTA, Verge, Grosselcoin, Viacoin, Monero, and AdX ranked from top to or fastest to uh, less fast, as well as confirmation time required. So yeah, I'm curious what you guys think of Nano. Uh, I've come out in support of it in the past. I've always been saying I like Nano. I think I've maybe mentioned it very briefly in maybe like 10 to 15 different videos over the past six months. So yeah, I've always liked Nano, specifically since I, I first learned about it back in maybe November, like I said. But yeah, if we take a look at the USD price comparison right here, as with the rest of the market, these are, these are like all-time lows for Nano, only a little over $2. So if you are interested, um, who knows how long this bear market is going to continue, but right now it's probably not a horrible place to buy in. 
unless the market continues to decline for the next year or two. Uh, this could this could this could uh, represent a pretty good buy-in point if you're interested in it. And again, it's it's something I feel comfortable definitely coming on and advocating for, considering Charlie himself, um, he advocated for it. And I know there are a lot of people that sometimes comment on these videos kind of nasty things about uh, Charlie or Litecoin or anything like that, but I mean, this is my opinion, but I do think Charlie's pretty accurate. I do trust a lot of what he says. And to be, to be fair, even regarding the cryptocurrency uh, bear market that he mentioned in, in December, Currently, Litecoin's at 80 US dollars. It went all the way down to like 74. Um, and he called for potentially $20. Um, and so far, he's not that far off. So if he was predicting this back in December, you know, just gives him even more credibility in my eyes. The fact that uh, it's potentially, we don't know if we've seen the bottom just yet. We haven't hit $20 um, per Litecoin. Doesn't mean we never will. It's, it's possible if this market continues for, or if this bear market continues for one to three years, you know, it's very possible Litecoin could, could go down to $20, but you know that remains to be seen. Nobody knows if that's the case. Uh, and like everyone says, this could really turn around any single day now. Chances are right now it probably won't, at least the current uh, condition of the market, but there is good news coming out every single day um, in favor of cryptocurrency. Like just yesterday was the Facebooks, uh, Facebook ads and everything. So yeah, for all the Litecoin supporters watching, if you guys are interested in Nano as well, please uh, let me know what you think of it. I, I really don't get that many comments about Nano, which is kind of surprising given how um, Charlie has been an advocate or at least said that tweet and then said some positive things since then four months ago. So it's really like, uh, you know, Charlie almost it's it's not like he's backing Nano, but he well, I guess he is because he has said he invested in it. Um, so, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Nano. Uh, and full disclaimer as well, I think I've said this many dozens of times, but yeah, I, I also own some Nano.